In this video, we're going to be talking about how do I get to Ads Manager in Facebook. Now, I get this question all the time because people have absolutely no idea how to get to the Ads Manager, how to run a Facebook ad, because a Facebook ad is different than a boosted post. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get to Ads Manager, and then I'll take you step by step on exactly how to set up a Facebook ad. <laughs> Hey, what's up y'all, welcome back. I'm gonna show you not only how to get to Ads Manager in Facebook in this video, but I'm also gonna walk you through how to set up your first ad, how to set up the targeting, the copy, the budget, absolutely everything, and we'll do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to find the Ads Manager and how to set up your very first Facebook ad. So let me jump behind the screen and we'll dive in. So before I share my screen and show you how to get to the Ads Manager and how to set up an ad, uh, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We put out brand new videos every single day, five days a week, and maybe share this video with someone that you know that needs to know how to run Facebook ad. All right, so here we are on Facebook, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to get to Ads Manager. So it is pretty simple. Uh, all you need to do is just come up here. You're gonna go to facebook.com slash ads manager, all one word right? Facebook.com slash ads manager. And this is actually going to take us to the back end of ads manager, which is where we can actually set up our first ad. Okay. So you're going to take a look and it will show you the name of your ads account in the top left. So if you have multiple ads accounts, maybe for your church, your personal, a couple others, you can actually uh, see that up here, right? But I know that I'm in the right place. So all we're going to do is click the green create button. Now, don't freak out if this looks a little bit different than what you're seeing right now. Facebook is always changing things up. They're always moving things around, right? So if the ads manager looks a little bit different on your computer when you pull it up, don't freak out. They're always changing things. I'm sure it'll look different next week whenever you come back. It's as simple as that on how to get to the ads manager, right? Facebook.com slash ads manager. And it's going to take you right to the back end. We are going to set up our first ad. So we clicked on the green create button. Then we're going to come back down here. And there are two types of ads that you can create. One is a traffic ad. Uh, the other one is a messages ad where you're actually running people from Facebook into Facebook Messenger. Now that one's a little bit more advanced. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is actually show you how to set up a traffic ad. These are my favorite type of ads if you're running some type of an invite ad or maybe an event ad so for the purposes of this video we're actually going to set up an Easter ad all right so you're gonna click on traffic because we're gonna send traffic from Facebook to our website and we'll click continue all right and now that we're in the back end here there's basically three different levels so this first level is called the campaign level and then the second one is the ad set level and then here is the ad level we're gonna uh, Facebook's gonna take us through all three setting these up so let's just call this Easter invite ad all right, and uh, then we're gonna scroll down. That way, when you're in the back end, you can see the name of all your campaigns and you know which one is which. So for this, we just leave these exactly how they are, auction and traffic, A-B split test. We're gonna leave all this alone and we're gonna click next. Now you can see it's taking us from the campaign level to the ad set level. So here we're gonna go and say, okay, Facebook wants to know where do we wanna drive the traffic? So uh, like we said before, we wanna take them from Facebook to our website. So we're gonna click website we're gonna leave dynamic creative offer, we're gonna leave all of these off, and I'm gonna set my ad budget at $10 a day. All right, so Facebook ads, uh, there's no set price for Facebook ads, you literally get to choose your own daily budget, so you can choose something that works with your budget, uh, might be $5 a day, $10 a day, uh, could be 20 or $30 a day, I've seen churches run as much as 80 or $100 a day, depending on your church budget and how many people you're trying to reach. So obviously the more money you pay Facebook, the more people they will show your ad to. So you can come over here and take a look. This is this is pretty interesting. Once we set up, right now, this is set up to the entire US, which we're about to change. So this is showing that we have a potential reach of 240 million people. Obviously that's way too big. So what we wanna do is we're gonna come down here and we're gonna set this up and then this box right here is gonna show us exactly how many people Facebook but expects us to reach based on our targeting and our daily budget. All right, so we're gonna scroll down here to locations. Right now it's at United States. So we're gonna click edit. And all you wanna do is pop in the address of your church or business or whatever you're setting this up for. All right, so I'm setting up an Easter ad for my church. So we're gonna go down here and we have dropped the pin right on the church. And then we're at about a 10 mile radius. What you want to do whenever you're setting something up for a local church or local business is you basically just want to set this up to be driving distance of your church. Uh, so for my church, that's typically about 10 to 15 miles. Since this is going to be like an Easter one, I might take this one out 
a little bit bigger than normal, so we might say 20 miles, right? And you can even zoom in or zoom out so you can see all of the areas that it's actually gonna cover. And so what this is telling me is that my potential reach it, within a 20 mile radius of my church is 710,000 people, right? So that's how many people on Facebook and Instagram that we could run this to. And at $10 a day, it's estimating our daily results. So we're gonna reach somewhere between 1,300 and 3,900 people. And they expect us to get somewhere between 18 and 53 clicks per day. So this is, uh, it, it's pretty, usually pretty safe that if you set it up the way I'm talking about here, you're usually gonna be somewhere in the middle. Right, so 1,300 to 3,900, you're probably gonna be somewhere in the 2,200 to 2,500 people per day range at 10 bucks a day. And then these link clicks, probably same thing. You'll probably be somewhere in the 35 to 40 link clicks per day. And this is where a lot of churches mess up, right? So they say, okay, well, we wanna run to uh, every single person who is between the ages of 30 and 33, who have kids between the ages of four and six, and they live within two miles of our church. Right? What's going to happen is that's going to cause your potential audience size to be so small that your cost per click is going to be through the roof and you're going to have a really small amount of people that Facebook is actually showing your ad to. So leave it wide open, as close to 500,000 as you can. Now, if you live in a small town, no problem. I've run Facebook ads before in towns of 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 10,000. Uh, I've done that multiple times and they always work out really, really well. But if you have a more populated area, make sure to try to get uh, as close to 500,000 as you can, but no more than a million, right? So somewhere between that 500,000 to a million, if you live in a populated area, is kind of a sweet spot for you. All right, 18 to 65 plus, we're leaving it wide open, all genders. We're not gonna change any detailed targeting. We're gonna leave it all languages completely wide open. Now, I recommend running this on automatic placements, right? And so does Facebook, as you can see here, because what they're gonna do is they're gonna run it on Facebook, Instagram, uh, on uh, Facebook Messenger, and then also in the audience network. Now, the audience network is a group of third-party apps and websites that Facebook owns that they can actually run your ads on. Right? So the bottom line is one of those four placements, we actually don't care which one it is. All we want is for as many people as possible to go from Facebook to our website. So we don't care if it's Facebook or Instagram or if it's inside of Messenger or if it's on one of those third-party apps. So what I recommend is leaving automatic placements on. But if you decide to go in here and you wanted to choose some, you can actually see right here are the four platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Audience Network, and Messenger. And so you could even go through and unclick some of the feeds if you wanted to. Right, so you can say, you know what, I want to run on Facebook and Instagram, and I'm cool with Messenger, but I don't want to run on the audience network. You can click that, and then you can see the audience changes. Now we're at 690,000, right? So if we're running on the audience network, we're actually going to be uh, in that 710,000, but we're going to lose some when we take off audience network, and now it's dropping us down to 690. Same thing, if we decided to take off, let's say, Instagram, we just wanted to run on Facebook, now it's taking us from 690 down to 600,000. So this is where you can go and you can uh, actually uncheck some of these if you have different ones that you wanna do. But again, if this is your first rodeo, I recommend using automatic placements and letting Facebook's algorithm do all the heavy lifting. They want you to be successful and to reach as many people as possible and get as many link clicks as possible because that means you'll keep paying them and you might even up their budget and pay them more money. So they have a vested interest in your success. All right, automatic placement, we're gonna leave the optimization for ad delivery at link clicks. We're gonna click next, all right? And then I like to turn preview on. Now for this one, I'm not gonna go in and select uh, an Instagram uh, account, but this is what you would wanna do when you come in here. You wanna make sure it's hooked up to your Facebook page of your church or your business. And then you wanna make sure that your Instagram account is connected as well so that you can run on Facebook and Instagram. Then when we come down here, I'm actually gonna go do single image uh, or video because we're using we're doing this for Easter. So down here, this is gonna give us some previews of what we're creating. So single image or video. Now we're gonna go down here to add media and I'm gonna click add image. And then Facebook has a pretty robust stock images library, which usually I don't recommend using stock images, but in the case of Facebook, some of them are pretty good and they don't look like stock images. So it's worth giving it a shot. These are all the files that, and photos and videos that you may have uploaded in the past. So what you can do is if you go to account images and then go to stock photos. Okay, so now we're in here, we're in stock photos. And what we wanna do is let's just type in, since this is gonna be Easter, let's just type in Easter. And whenever I'm running Easter ads, I like to find something Easter eggs. I've done this a ton of times. So I've done cute kids with Easter baskets. I've done little chicks. I've done all different types of ideas. And I've found that every single time, pictures of Easter eggs pretty much outperform everything. 
right? So some of these are pretty cool. We've got kind of the risen. Yep, I'm gonna go with this one right here. I think this image is probably gonna perform really well. So we can grab multiple images. I'm just gonna create one for the sake of time right now, right? So we've gone on there and then now Facebook is gonna to start to show us what it looks like as we create this. So, all right, so now we wanna put in our primary text. So I already went and pre-wrote this. So I'm just gonna grab this copy and pop it in here. So we're gonna put that in the primary text. And then for the headline, I'm just gonna say Easter at Guts Church. If you guys are new to the channel, that's the name of my church. It's not an acronym. It's just that's what it takes to live for Jesus. It takes guts. So I uh, use the headline Easter at Guts Church. And then for the description, most people aren't gonna see this unless they're on like desktop or something. So I'm just gonna use the same thing and just say Easter at Guts Church. All right, and then we are going to send people to the website URL. So typically what I would do is actually go to the, the web page that you wanna do, like if it's gutschurch.com slash Easter, pull that up and then copy paste the URL into here. Uh, but for the sake of time, I'm just gonna type it in. But if I was setting this up for real, then that's exactly what I would do. And then the display link, you don't have to put www. This is just gonna show the link inside of the ad. It's actually gonna take them to gutschurch.com slash Easter. But for the display link, I'm just going to say gutschurch.com. A thing that you want to note is these cannot be two different websites. So this one can't be gutschurch.com and then this, and then have the display link uh, be like bestchurchintheworld.com. The link have to actually be the same. So gutschurch.com slash Easter, gutschurch. For the call to action, we're going to do learn more. And this ad is ready to go. So you can see over here, Facebook's actually going to show us in all the different feeds, right? The right column, the Instagram feed. This is the Facebook Marketplace. It's showing us what all of these look like. So you can actually see and kind of take a look, which is kind of cool. And then this is going to show you the ad right here, right? So here we are. And again, I've just got this created uh, to one of my businesses instead of the church. Uh, but you would connect it to your church. Right. Hey, parents, want to give your kids the best possible experience this Easter? There is all of our ad copy, our headline, Easter at Guts Church, the description, Easter at Guts Church, and then the Learn More button. And that's it, y'all. We have now set up your first Facebook ad. We are running this on automatic placement, so it's going to be run on Facebook, Instagram, the Audience Network, and Messenger. As soon as Facebook is done reviewing this, then we are good to go. The ad will automatically go live and Facebook will start showing it to people according to the target that we set up. So for us, that's everyone within driving distance of our church. And that's it. Super easy way to find the ads manager. It's just facebook.com slash ads manager. And then we just showed you step-by-step -step exactly how to set up your first Facebook ad campaign inside of the ads manager. So if you guys like this content or if you're looking at it and just saying, Chris, man, that looks crazy. I don't want to do any of that kind of stuff. And you would rather just have someone set this up for you. Just go over to churchgrowthagency.com or click on the link in the description below. And let's hop on a phone and see what it would look like for us to set this up for your church. We'll see you soon.